Namaste and a very, very good afternoon to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Natun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to make an attendance sheet online with check boxes. Even before I proceed to show how to make an attendance sheet online with check boxes, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let's begin by talking about the good old days. In the good old days, we would always have a class teacher who would walk into the classroom with the attendance register. She would call out the names of each and every student in the classroom and she would mark the attendance in pen and paper. All these things basically changed in and during the world of COVID. During the days of COVID, people were forced to take classes online and hence the attendance was also marked online. In today's video, we'll be looking at a very, very simple, effective and a very efficient way of making an attendance sheet online. To do this, I will be using Google Sheet. We'll be using a formula in Google Sheet to count the number of, number of days that a student has attended. To access Google Sheet, you can see here, uh, right now, you are able to see Google in your screen. You can click on Google Apps. When you scroll down, there are different options. Here, there's an option called as Sheets. You can just click on this option for Sheets. It displays a list of items that you can choose from. Start a new spreadsheet. This is what I want to do. When you click on this particular option, what will happen is that you'll be shown a blank worksheet. You can see here, this is a typical Google Sheet. Now, this particular sheet is empty. Let me show you a sheet wherein I already have created the data set. You can see here, this is the student attendance sheet which I'll be working on. Let me explain the data set that I'll be using. I have a list of 38 students. You can see here, the first column here is student name. You have a few students like Ruben, Keen, Adrian, Brian, Ben, so on and so forth. Totally, you have 38 such students. And the next column is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We also have the final column, which represents the total number of classes that each student has attended. There are two ways of approaching this. First, I'll be showing you manual data entry. And in the second phase, I'll be showing you how application of checklist would make attendance sheet more interactive as well as visually very, very striking. A typical teacher would do what? She would, let's say, call out the attendance of Ruben on a Monday morning. And if Ruben is present, she'll go ahead and mark him as present. Tuesday, she would repeat the same process. If he is present, she would mark him as present. Let's say Wednesday and Thursday, Ruben is absent. But Friday, he is present. So you have three Ps in the first row. Now let's look at the second person, Keen. Now this person is present on a Tuesday. He is also present on Wednesday. He is absent on Thursday, but present on Friday. Let's look at Adrian. Let me write a P for Monday. Wednesday, she's present. Thursday, she's absent. And on Friday, she's present. Like this, for each and every student, the person has to manually type whether he or she is present or absent. Finally, what you do is in the first cell under the total classes column, you would use a counter function. You'd use the counter function. You can see here, it accepts two parameters. The first parameter would be the range and the second parameter would be the criteria. Here, we are not looking at the column wise range. We'll be looking at the row wise range. So let me select the range from Monday to Friday, put a comma here, 
and specify the criteria. When we say criteria here, we want this application to count the number of P's. And since this is string, this has to be within double quotes. If we go ahead and hit enter, you can see the number three being entered, which basically means that on three days, Ruben has been present for a particular week. Now, the same story goes for Keen as well as Adrian. Now, one of the problems with this type of manual data entry is that it is tedious, it is time consuming, and many times it may result in error. Now, we will be looking at a easier way of marking attendance. And th this is not true only in the case of a classroom. You can also look at the attendance of employees or any other situation. So let me move on to a different spreadsheet. I've got the same data here, student name. I've got the list of students and the day-wise uh, information along the columns. Firstly, I'm going to choose the counter function. This is the count of function. I'm going to select the range of five days. Here, you can specify, you can uh, you can simply type true because we want to calculate all the cases where a person has been present. Let me quickly go to the last record. Select this particular column and apply the particular formula. Right now, it's displayed as zero because we have not entered any value. Typically, what I would like to do here is select the entire range of cells for all the students. Let me go to the last record first. Select this entire range. Now, I've selected the range for 38 students across five different days. Here, I would like to insert a checkbox. How do you insert a checkbox? You can simply go to the insert menu. In the insert menu, you have different items. You can go ahead and select the option checkbox. The moment you choose the option checkbox, you can see here Google Sheet displays a checkbox for each and every cell. This looks really interesting. Now, the next time a particular teacher has to take attendance, all that this particular student needs to do is put a tick mark against the student's name. Let's say Ruben has attended on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can see here the total number of classes that he has attended at the end of the week would be three. Let's take about let's uh, let's take the example of the second student. He has attended classes on all the five days. So you can put a tick mark against each of these check boxes. You can see here the total number of classes is five. So as you can already see here, this is a lot easier and very, very efficient. It saves a lot of time, particularly if you are handling a huge sample of data, because all that you need to do is you don't need to memorize what is the string. You don't need to memorize a particular, a particular formula and such things. You can always go back and remove the tick mark option and the total number of classes will be displayed easily. So this is how, by using checkboxes, you'll be able to save a lot of effort, you'll be able to save time, and you'll be able to quickly expedite the process of taking attendance. This is also visually striking as compared to the first way, the first approach of manual data entry. This is the first approach of entering data wherein we are prone to making a lot of mistakes and such things. In the second way, this is a lot easier as well as effective. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. I request you to subscribe to my channel. Also, like and share my videos. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. Have a great day ahead.